right guys, how's it going? So, uh, I want to try to start, uh, keeping some content going on, uh, oops. I want to start some content up on this new channel. I'll probably post this on my old channel as well. But, uh, so yeah, for those of you on my, on my old channel, I do actually have a new channel where I'll be posting stuff like this, where I'm basically talking about Second Amendment stuff, current events, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Like, I'll still do gun stuff on my, on my, uh, my old channel, but it just won't be gun political stuff. So anyway, without further ado, uh, I want to talk about constitutional carry in Texas. I figured this is a really good way to uh, start off this new channel. But uh, yesterday, the House just voted on and passed a constitutional carry bill in the state of Texas. Now that, for me, is... Uh, extremely exciting right because I feel like that this is something that we needed from the get-go um, it was it was a shame that Texas is known as the the gun state but we still had to we still had to you know pay to beg our state to let us carry a, a handgun you know it was just it was kind of a What's the word? I guess hypocritical or ridiculous. It's like an oxymoron. But anyway, so we could have had this actually last legislative session uh, about two years ago. And uh, what happened was we had a, uh, I forget what his title was, but it was Dennis Bonin. He's like the house secretary or house uh, chair holder. I don't know. Anyway, he was, he was the... Uh, he ran on a platform to get elected of uh, being pro-constitutional carry. But when the time came to, to actually allow the floor to vote on constitutional carry, he, uh, he closed the bill. And his reasoning was because, in his, well, in his words, it was, t uh, constitutional carry just... It just lets criminals have the ability to carry guns in public. Meanwhile, people who have been convicted of a felony, a.k.a. criminals, aren't even allowed to possess a handgun or any gun at all, for that matter, at all. They're not allowed to possess a gun at all. And he knew this. I don't know who he... I don't know who paid him off. Likely uh, every town or Bloomberg or something, but... You know, he ended up he ended up uh, closing the bill and just letting it die, and that was that was disappointing. That was not only disappointing, but it it angered a lot of Texans because he ran on a platform of being pro two A. So uh, yeah, we're I mean it's it's done. It's it's gone. So the House just passed constitutional carry yesterday. So, if any of you keep up with your state representatives, it's time to get on the, the phone with your state senators. Let them know calmly, uh, respectfully, that, hey, we'd like to see constitutional carry passed. So, uh, you know, if any of you contact your state representatives, it's time to move on to the Senate. Uh, chances are that it will get passed in the Senate because we have a Republican majority in the Senate. But you never know. You know, keep the pressure on them. We could have some turncoat Republicans. So keep the pressure on them. Call them. And y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, road vlog video. Uh, this, this might be something I start doing more and more often just because I spend a lot of time on the road these days. But uh, anyway, y'all take it easy.